Hey everybody, welcome to Ravenel Ford Videos with Charleston Car Videos on YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 Ford Explorer Limited with four-wheel drive. This will be an in-depth video today at the dealership. I will do my best to go around the vehicle and let you see some of the features it has. Uh, specs, price, and reasons why to buy at Ravenel Ford. So stay tuned over the next few minutes as I go through this beautiful SUV. So the Ford Explorer, it's definitely been around a long time as many of us know. And each year it just seems like the Explorer keeps getting better and better. I mean just look at it. Beautiful front end. I mean that Ignat Silver Metallic is looking really nice. Headlights are looking good. Let's take a look at the front end. Got that beautiful Palmetto Blue Ford logo. The grill looks good. You also have a camera right there. Sensors in the front. There's a ton of safety technology that Ford has brought to the game for everybody in 2017. Let's take a look at our headlights. So they are definitely looking like LED headlights right there. You have this really nice kind of LED light bar that goes around, uh, which is on during the daytime when you're cruising. Now I can tell that the high beam is not LED, but that looks kind of like an LED light. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Fog lights down on the bottom bumper. Again, just overall, beautiful vehicle. We got a great selection of them out here, as you can see with nice color choices, just real quickly. The maroon or burgundy as some people call it. That good looking dark gray looks good on this one. And uh, one that I haven't seen in this color in a long time, kind of a gold desert mist color, which looks really good on the Explorer. So a nice uh, selection of colors. Now I did notice this Explorer has Explorer right across the top there, and this one over here doesn't. So it must have something to do with the packaging of the vehicle. And we'll, we'll know a little more shortly here. So anyways, let's keep moving around, taking a look again. It's a limited. This one's got a good looking set of polished aluminum alloy wheels. They gotta be 20s and definitely are. They're 20 inch wheels with a 255, 50 series hand cooked tire. Again, brand spanking new. Big brakes up under the, uh, under the rim with those calipers. You also have your uh, lights here to, so people can see that you're trying to get over, which is nice. Rear tinted windows. The only windows you may want to have tinted is your two front right there. Um, the vehicle's already cranked up because it comes equipped with remote start. And it's a little warm on this May day, so I figured I'd go ahead and crank it up. The rear end's looking good, right? Oh, yeah. Just as nice as the front end. Again, like I said earlier, it is four-wheel drive. This one is a Sport, so that must have something to do with the front end having the Explorer logo on the hood, which I'm liking the color combinations that Ford's offering. They really know how to blend the colors and everything real nicely here. As you can see, kind of the black with the burgundy and with the chrome and the silver, looks good. Also has dual exhaust up underneath, which is nice. Backup sensors, and uh, it does have power tailgate. Rear backup camera. There's a button under here you can press and it will open the power tailgate up just like that. One thing, uh, Ford Explorers come standard with third row seats. You probably already knew that, but just want to mention to it anyways. Um, captain row seating right here, which is nice. You got your carpeted mats. You can fold down these seats. You can hit some buttons here to drop them down or lift them up. A 12 volt outlet. Nice little interior lighting right there. A subwoofer over here. So not bad at all. Your air vents are out. Obviously, they're up on the roof instead of on the uh, pillars there. And you do got cup holders and all that stuff for back passengers. And you can hit that button right there to drop that right on back down. Now let's go ahead and take, uh, make our way up to the cockpit of the vehicle and take a look at the front end. Before we do that, I wanted to tell you, you know, one thing that uh, Ravenel Ford does that other dealers don't is they don't add on extra things, okay? So no rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, dock or closing fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware, okay? A lot of dealerships will uh, 
put an addendum sticker on a car and have all these accessories and things on the vehicle that you may not have ever wanted and maybe there's some good things on there that you wanted but they add that on and it might be two thousand three thousand dollars worth of add-ons that get added up above the retail price of the car so if the car let's just say priced out at thirty six thousand you know add three grand on next thing you know you're almost up to forty grand on a, on a new car and then you're trying to negotiate all that stuff to get it off there you know so that's nice that Ravenel Ford doesn't add those on that's why they call it car buying made easy uh, the uh, door panel looks good I mean again you got silver outside got the polished aluminum look right there on the interior with the wood trim leather it's stitched up nicely power windows power door locks power mirrors memory seats this is actually a, a, a silver under here. I'm going to show you that real quick. As you can see, looks good. Power seats, power lumbar. This is real leather interior. You know, a few days ago, Volkswagen had a new vehicle that came out that's similar to this. You know, actually a little bit bigger than this, and I was really kind of unimpressed with the vehicle. You know, when I started looking at it, you know, you had to get the the absolutely fully loaded model to get leather interior. I mean, it had cloth, and I, you know, I really thought about it after filming all these Fords, and I'm like, the Explorer just has so many more nice features on the vehicle at a better price. Cold AC, my goodness, it's cold. And um, you got paddle shifters in here, cruise control, all your audio, tons of screens. You got two there, one big screen over here that's touch screen. You got a Sony stereo system, cooled seats, heated seats. The list goes on and on and on. Okay, and even you got these features here, you know, if you're going off roading or in the snow or different things like that, which is nice. So, a lot of great features on the Explorer. Dual panoramic glass sunroofs up top. So anyways, I was waiting for that car to come out for the longest, and it finally arrived at the store, and I got inside and drove it and all that. And you know, on the video, I tried my best to be, you know, excited about the vehicle, but true to, truly down in my heart, I was not really so excited about this particular Volkswagen SUV that had just came out. And I think primarily the reason is, is because I get the opportunity to film a lot of these Fords, and I really see just how nice they are. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're just, they're beautiful vehicles. And they just come with so many nice features on them, right? I mean, they really do. So, you know, take your time out there when you're car shopping. Look at all the different cars and things like that. But, you know, make sure you, when you spend money and you're going to buy a vehicle and drive it for five years or seven or three years, whatever that is, you know, make sure you're getting what you want. It's got the technology on it that's going to last for the next few years, you know, or however long you keep the vehicle. Let's cut these fans down. And, uh, and make sure it's going to hold up the value because that's important with the pricing and all that. So anyways, real quickly, just wanted to kind of run through some stuff in here. I'm loving the dash. I like how you got two screens on the right and left and then that speedometer right there in the middle. And I really like Ford's setup. You got the start-stop button over here, this really big screen right there and uh, you can control it by just touching the screen you got the home button there and i mean just look at all the cool stuff you can click on apps add device connect mobile apps serious travel link phone climate audio settings there's so much cool stuff i always like to uh take this here you know microsoft is no longer uh with ford ford went ahead and let them go so they have sync now just regular sync and what you'll get down in here if you can see this it's a little ways back there, but you do still got your USB port right there. You got a 12 volt outlet right there. So that's nice. Now I'm pretty sure in your center console here, if we can get in there and look, you got a, you have a 12 volt outlet and I don't see, there's no USB ports or auxiliaries down in there. But I do see an area to let cool air inside the vehicle, so you can um, you can have some cold AC while driving down the road. And I'll fix that in just a minute when I quit recording. But you got home link up top. The vehicle I was telling you about just a minute ago is called the Atlas. It didn't even have a sunglass holder. It had a spot for a sunglass holder, like a little area just like that. It even had the lines going around it, but it wasn't a sunglass holder. So I was really kind of perturbed by that. It's those little things like that that are so important. 
Um, lighting looks good on the inside. I like how the light's here instead of up top. I still think car manufacturers need to put uh, an HD type light or an LED in there for better lighting because what do people use that for? Women use it for doing makeup, okay? And that color lighting there is just not a good color to do makeup. Take my word for it. I know. My wife has told me many a times. So anyways, good looking car by Ford. But before we go, I do want to put it in reverse and try out the backup camera. Here we go. See what we got going on. Close this door. And as you can see, there's your camera. It's nice and legible. You got the guidelines there for you. There's another view. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Please check surrounding. So there's your camera views. You got a camera button there you can press and see how you can do these different shots. So not bad. A lot of nice features on this vehicle. I'm not going to go over every little feature today. The main thing is to show you the vehicle, let you see what it's got for the most part. And if you're interested and you live in the Carolinas, come on down to Ravenel Ford. They're located in Ravenel, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes away from Charleston, South Carolina. So really, not that far of a drive out here in Ravenel to come and get a great deal on a new 2017 Ford Explorer. Stop by today. Make sure if you're online, subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know your thoughts about the Explorer in the video I shot today. Have a good Don't one. We'll to visit us online at RavenelFord.com. Car buying really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.